Okay, we're back in Northwest Michigan. Uh, it's in mid-June now, 2012. We're revisiting sweet cherry orchards in which we came in early April. And these trees had suffered severe frost injury, severe blossom blast. So every flower cluster and, and uh, leaf cluster on the tree was killed by blossom blast, which is uh, a disease caused by Pseudomonas syringae. It's a symptom of bacterial canker disease. And this disease is brought on by uh, extensive bacterial colonization of, the colonization of the flowers, followed by frost events. We had a very early spring this year, extremely early. Uh, this was followed by several normal frost events, but because the trees were so far advanced in their development, uh, there was tremendous amounts of, of susceptible tissue out there, and a pseudomonas-induced blossom blast followed. We came back to these trees now, we can see the extensive amount of, of killing that occurred, but we came back to examine the trees to determine if there was wood invasion associated with this blossom blast. That is, did the Pseudomonas syringae pathogen uh, colonize and cause cankers in the wood tissue following this frost-induced injury event? If we take a look at the wood tissue underlying uh, these blossom blast symptoms, it's all green. There's, there's no uh, evidence of bacterial invasion into the wood. If, if the pathogen had invaded into the wood and started causing a canker, uh, we would see extensive browning uh, all along this shoot, really. And on the outside of the branches, we'd see a lot of gamosis from the tree. So, so that's not evidence, evident, which is good. It's, it's great news, actually, that the, the bacterium has not invaded into the shoots because if, if that had happened then these entire trees would be killed and, and we can see that that the tree is is pushing out new growth it's trying to recover from this infection uh, it will take many years to recover but uh, the wood the wood of the tree is, is still alive and, and there is a chance for these trees following this unprecedented blossom blast event in 2012. For all the trees that we've examined this is similar uh, to what we've seen elsewhere. We're, we're just seeing evidence of this extensive blossom blast, but uh, unlike the situation we saw approximately 10 years ago, where on certain varieties there was a tremendous amount of, of wood invasion and subsequent canker events, uh, these trees are not apparently going to be subject to uh, the wood invasion part of bacterial canker. It will take many, many years for them to uh, outgrow this uh, tremendous killing event from the blossom blast, uh, but they're not going to be outright killed by this infection at this time.